Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series of Lawrence Plays. Today I'm starting off having a look at um, the, the new remake of the original Half-Life game. So this was a game that came out, ooh, I'm not sure exactly when. It was, it was based on the original Quake engine, I remember that much. Um, but now there's um, a group of fans have redone a lot of the a lot of the artwork for it and so on and brought it to, brought it up to date uh, made made a big difference to it I'm sure it's, it's now based on the Source engine I believe um, but it should still be very much the same game there's just enormously more detail not only because of the new engine but because they've changed a lot of the models as well and of course and the texture and so on so it's been a massive job from um, level three dormitories. Two, and so, as we all remember from the original Half-Life, here we are starting off on the uh, on the metro and on the way into the Black Mesa facility. Going through, being shown some of the areas, to well, to the as far as I remember from the game, you do actually visit a few of these areas later on. But most of this is just sort of, most of this is just for background and to give you a feel for what the place is like, what's going on here. So we've got a rocket being put together over there, system. for example. You must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you are permitted the into the bit. high security branch of the transit system. Ooh, and there's a bit of graphical slowdown. Perhaps I've been a bit too enthusiastic with the settings, shall we say. Oh, and there we go. There's some actual outdoors. I don't think we'll see any of that for a good, for a good while. And of course, there's now more than one different, more than two or three different scientists wandering around the place. The they've got a few more interesting models. Material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Now, because memory is the way it is, a lot of this looks kind of familiar, and I've forgotten just what it looked like in the original. So, whilst I'm sure that the graphic for graphical quality has been massively increased, it kind of just looks familiar. So, what I think I'm going to have to do at this point is um, pull together some screenshots from the original Half-Life. And, and paste them in as, um, as, as overlays from time to time to show the differences the that they've made. At all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In fact, I might be able to get the original Half-Life as well. I suspect the save game can't be spot the queen there. remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. And of course having this sort of interactive intro sequence was completely unheard of back in the back when Half-Life came out. A game would have yeah, a game would probably have had an intro video, but it would have been just FMV and it would have, wouldn't have looked anything like the rest of the game. And you wouldn't have been able to wander around and look at things as whenever you felt like it, because no, I guess it's probably a combination of maybe the technology wasn't really up to it, or people, or the developers wanted to have higher, higher quality in the um, in the intro, so they resort to pre-rendered video. Whereas Half-Life had this amazing thing where they decided that from the very moment you start the game until the end, you'd be looking through Gordon Freeman's eyes the entire time. You'd see everything would be as he saw it. You you were never taken away from the uh, taken out of the action for a an FMV sequence or to jump between levels. Yeah, okay, there were loading points when you moved between areas, and some, sometimes those did take a little while to load. But basically, it was just one single... Yeah, here we go, here's a loading point now, for example, where it's pulling in the next part of the uh, the ride in. And these happen a bit too frequently at the, in the intro because you're seeing a lot of a lot of territory very in a very short space of time, so it's a bit jumpy. Um, a bit loading-y, rather. Is there another train going to go through? No. <clears throat> a reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 
1,900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. So yeah, having the um, have, having having quite so much story delivered through the game engine was all very new back in those days. Who would make a valuable addition to so the Half Life? I think Half Life. It's certainly famous for being one of the, the first of games to do that. I'm not 100 percent certain whether there were other games that, that did it, but I think Half Life Please might have been the first Black really the really big one, and the one that did it to quite such an extent. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics biotechnology or other high-tech disciplines oh yes Please this is the theoretical degree in physics isn't it yeah. the black mesa facility and we've got the big stompy robot down there which employer. as far as i remember never shows up in the real game which is a bit of a shame but i suppose even even for something as groundbreaking as half-life that would have been a bit too advanced for, for when it was released Either my controls are lagging or I'm getting stuck on these seats a lot. I might need to have a look at the graphical quality once the intro's finished and maybe turn it down a tiny bit. As long a as my graphics card doesn't catch fire, it'll be alright. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. I don't remember there being quite so much dynamic lighting in the original half life. <laughs> that was probably beyond the, uh, ooh, probably beyond the original um, game engine. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact and there's the your radiation G -Man. safety officer immediately. Uh, you don't have a weapon or land to do. Works but no doubt he'll show up a few more times throughout the game. Depends on it. Okay, spoilers. Oh yes, Black Mesa has always been high on uh, on the old safety protocols, hasn't it? <laughs> so love there's a couple of scientists just standing around now next to the and stuff as if there's nothing wrong with it. Sector C test labs and control facilities. Ah, and here we are. I believe this is my stop. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Hmm, he doesn't look much like the Barney I remember from Half-Life 2. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Cool. Just arrived, already running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up. Okay, that's because he's not Barney. Fair enough. Maybe I'll run into Barney later. All right, let's talk to him. Since the game's informative. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Oh man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. <laughs> I didn't know Gordon Freeman was supposed to have a ponytail. That's a serious door. Right. On the left. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Oh uh, yes, he's not kidding about systems problems. A couple of blue screens here. And the game showing its age a little bit because we've got full CRT monitors, full size CRT monitors. Apparently I'm famous, everyone seems to know who I am. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten Oh, would you look worse. at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. <laughs> Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. 
There def definitely weren't this many different looking scientists in the original. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. And a lot of this talk seems unfamiliar as well. I think they've um, definitely increased things a bit. Definitely um, improved, improved things a bit with some of the extra models and things. Yeah, I need some more mouse Good sensitivity. Morning. Let's try about, yeah, about that much. See if that's any better. Gordon. What's what? Research is rare, development personnel. I suspect I need to go find my HEV suit, so let's follow the green line for now. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, there's nothing plugged into that computer. Technology, I've recreated. <laughs> I can't stand because Morning, champ. Hello. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you actually perform any work at all. <laughs> Can still pick stuff up. Uh, where am I? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Yes, that bit of um, canned dialogue I do remember from the original. Um, oh, there are the HEV suits down there. There we go. Very um, memorable. Welcome. To the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. My HEV suit seems to be running Windows. Reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Mission level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. Now that does beg the question, why does the HEV suit have an ammunition monitoring facility? Well, that didn't last very long. Um, all the sort of the, the shielding for scientific Experiments and stuff. Yeah, sure. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? I wonder if I can. Oh, maybe I can. Excuse me. Minor emergency. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> I'm in Being dire emotion. need of some toilet paper. Well, that's my good deed for the day. <clears throat> Let's carry on. So, oh yeah, what was I saying? Yes, all the shielding and that sort of stuff makes perfect sense. Okay, not going in there. Um, because yeah, I'm going to be going into all these sort of hazardous areas with the uh, with the suit. Sure, but do you mind if I ask you a hypothetical? Why question? does it have I hope things return an ammunition counter? This experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. What was blue? I've forgotten. Can this wait? Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. <laughs> Hello, Freeman. All right, down the lift. This is, yeah, all loosely familiar from the last time I played Half-Life, which must have been, uh, I have no idea how long ago. <clears throat> but I do feel like there's little bits and pieces that have been added here and there, so whilst it's loosely familiar, it's definitely not quite the same. They've, um, they've upgraded things, added a few extra details, a few extra people, that sort of thing. But whilst the graphics look sort of 
the graphics look, have to admit, do actually look a little bit dated, but then that's comparing it to sort of mo to modern games, comparing it to the original, and um, given the whole thing's meant to be a nostalgia trip. I suppose it's a bit like the um, the remastered LucasArts games that have been being released recently, and I've also got the um, remaster of Dare the Tentacle knocking around somewhere. I'm not going to play that as a stream because it's basically a story, so there's not much talking I could do about it unless it's me puzzling over puzzles. So I suspect it wouldn't be very Please, interesting. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Charming. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Um, yeah, so I don't think... Um, was, was, where was my train of thought? Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! That's it's about to go critical. <laughs> what in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. <laughs> Charming. Um. Yeah, I guess once the um, once we get through the full intro sequence, because this is, of course, still part of the introduction. Um, and that was another thing that Half Life did fairly interestingly was have the sort of. By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Was have a big long intro sequence where you're sort of wandering around. I mean, compare this to the first Doom, for example. You aren't going soft on that ethics issue again, are you? Or to um, the original Quake, which, as I said, this is um, this used the engine from. I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. <laughs> I think he's basically complaining about being an NPC. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, uh, here he is. There's a lot of scientists just standing around doing not very much in this place. Typical government, today, I suppose. Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Well, I'm glad they've assured him. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I shall go and practice my um, insertion procedure. Test 
Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-vax spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. So, just like that other guy was complaining. Go there, push the button, see what happens. Those rotating things were just sort of floating in the air. This looks much more sensible. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly Ow. as you can. <laughs> Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance. <laughs> Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. This is another one of those. I'm not sure why they require a person for this. Standard insertion. But, uh, non-standard special. Oh well, a good job. What's the worst that could happen, eh? Go ahead, Gordon. Slump the carrier. Get away from the carrier! Oh my god. Shut it down. Shut it down. Someone get him out of there. Shut it down. It's not, it's not shutting down. Oh, so, blasting the control room there. <laughs> I guess that'll stop them shutting it down. Um, I may have to go up and trap from here. Uh, Then anyway. Right, well I'd say that went quite badly. However, on the plus side, the door has opened, so let's head out there and um, see what's going on. Good medikit, but yeah. So the um, clearly the explosions caused lots of uh, lots of damage. Um, and Warning: anomalous energy field detected in administration center. At this point, it's sort of standard scientific hubris, and everything blows up. Looks like that NPC's been, um, well actually no, he's just, they've both just disappeared. So, yeah, as I was saying earlier, the um, one of the things Half-Life did quite nicely was integrate um, an intro sequence into the game engine, 
as um, well, I guess in this case as a um, as something you could you could walk through, be a bit involved in yourself, and then um, introduction to the physics engine as well, because you had to clear up areas like this and find out if the lifts work. And this one does. Excellent. Listen, I, I tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, <laughs> he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is... <laughs> My God, what have we done? Fascinating. But, yeah, there's a head crab in there. Can't afford to waste time. Believe me for the weapon scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? Today, in unwise things to do, push the buttons. Yeah, let's leave that head crab in there until I've found some weapons. So that was a nice intro to scientists are useful for opening doors. That's good. And oops, jump. I'm not sure I want to get across there. <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah. Ow. Yeesh. Yeah, if I hadn't already played this game, I'd be wondering what on earth these were. <laughs> Sector C. Elevator failure. Do not use. So, Black Mesa has piped laser beams, I see. <laughs> so you can generate your laser in one place and then pipe it to the rest of the facility, unless the pipe gets broken, in which case it'll just zap out like that and blow things up. Or like that. And burn, burn across the floor and destroy all the corpses that have been conveniently left behind. Yeah. So this sort of um, semi, with this interactive intro sequence sort of thing, is reasonably common these days. In the, and in Alien Isolation was famous, particularly for having something like this, a first level where you were basically hiding from aliens that just just weren't there. <laughs> um, but Half but Half Life obviously came out twenty years, I don't know. A long time beforehand. I'm sure something told me not to use the lifts. Um yeah, maybe that's why. Yeesh. Um Ah Um, yeah, okay, I think I, I, <laughs> I can't get off this, this ladder. There we go. Right, um, yeah, I was going to say, I do think I remember dodgy ladder physics being an integral part of the Half-Life experience, so um, it's nice they've kept that in, I guess. Uh, let's go back up this one. Glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? I'm ready. Let's do this before I lose my nerve. 
Oh yes. Ooh, headcrab zombie. Does this count as me having, uh, as the game having started? I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's another one. Barney. Well, you get points for trying. That's another one. Mind them. Can I get in there? Do I want to get in there? Probably not, there's more zombies. Um, I'm sort of hoping to find a gun somewhere in here, or at least a crowbar, as is traditional. Um, but I think I'm still a bit early in the intro, in the, uh, st still working through the intro. Alright, let's not go in there. It is a silly place. Oh, I see. Presumably I can throw this. Can I set fire to a zombie with it? At the very least it should provide some light. Yes, I can set fire to zombies with it. Help. <laughs> Okay, well that was quite useful, I'm going to pick that up again. There's quite a lot of them around, that's good. I don't know how long this is going to last for. That long! Let's get some more. Oh, get through the window. Yeah, so this sequence definitely wasn't in the original. But, yeah, it works quite well as a sort of... Oh, can't reach that. <laughs> okay. One down you can still pick up the head crabs as well. Nice. Um, I'm going to take this with me, even if it's a bit bright. And okay, maybe I won't. How about that one? That one. Sorry, Freeman. That one's still. Not that one. That one's still burning. This shit is something out of a sci-fi. Yeah. Unfortunately, Barney doesn't seem to have a shortage of ammunition with him. Oh, there's one left. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Bring it on. This one hasn't lit. Okay, can't go that way, it's on fire. Another zombie. <laughs> and there's another one. You know, for first person shooter, I feel like I've not done very much shooting yet. Okay. Get out of the way. I'm gonna try to call for help. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. Okay, let's see what I can find. I don't like the noises that's making. That doesn't sound safe. No. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go that way. This is Sector C. Come on, you bastard! Pick up. 
Okay, I do need that flare. <laughs> no, that's not flare. That one. Ooh. Look at that. Yes. Traditional turbo. Now it's a half life game. Can't go anywhere without my crowbar. Mm, that door's still locked. So in the interest of going where I can, let's get through here. Ah! What? Got stuck to the zombie somehow. Don't worry. Yes. Oh. I think he got attacked by... Yeah, there we go. One behind it. And I can't get through there. Open. Dead. I don't seem to be able to make contact with it. I think it's ragdolled now, anyway. Oh, I see. So this is probably a good time to admit that I'm not actually very good at first-person shooter games. Um, this is the first one I've played in a very long time, so once it starts to get difficult, you may get to laugh quite a lot at my uh, general fails. I'm going to leave that in there. But for now, um, yeah, I can manage to walk around the lab that's falling apart around me. Coolant flood seems to have... Um, I could go in there. I'm not sure I want to. I don't see anything useful to pick. At this point in the game, I feel like I'm still sort of in the intro sequence, so it's not like I'm going hunting for ammunition or health packs. Or an oh, there's a battery there. Okay, I take it all back. It's worth looking around and hunting for things, because I might find batteries for my suit, if nothing else. I think this ice is even slippery. Yeah, it is. I start moving and I don't stop moving quite as quickly as I was expecting. Um, yeah, so it is worth doing a bit of exploring, even if I'm not going to find any ammunition because it's too uh, because it's before the game has seen fit to give me any weapons. But there's still... Can I come through? Yes, I can. Uh, but there's still sort of possibly power available and stuff like that. I think I probably shouldn't hit that one. That seems like a um, warning, this carb, this box will explode if you hit it, sort of symbol. Yes. I don't like dropping into a lift and then hearing Whoa, what's that? Is that it? Okay. <laughs> I was just saying, I don't like the idea of getting into a lift and then hearing it creaking and crackling. Um, how far did I fall then? Okay, about one story. Maybe that's why it wasn't too bad. Yeah, 
yeah, there's definitely some new bits and pieces going on here that I don't remember from the from the original. <laughs> Granted, it was, let's say, quite a long time ago as I played it, but still. There was definitely none of that stuff with the... stuff with the um, flare guns and things in the original. And I don't remember being able to pick boxes up quite like this. I think that's a source engine upgrade. Nice. Also, the air's bleeding. What's happening there? No, I don't want that. Ah, barnacles. Can I get through here without getting... No, I can't. Uh. Ow! Oh! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> this is where a gun would have been useful. Because <laughs> apparently I wasn't good enough with that barrel to, um, to get their attention properly. That was a second sighting of the G-Man, or at least the second more time I've seen him. Let's play Count the... Ah! Uh. I forget what the Sonic Hound things were called. Um, let's try this way first. Nope, these are all locked. Yeesh. Is one blow enough to take out a head crab? I think so. Open! And doors. There we go. Yeah, let's let sleeping zombies lie. Ah, there's a head crab as well. Ow. Yeah, I'm going to need to work on my dodging, I can see that. Hmm. I wonder what that on <laughs> do if I turn it on. Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Okay. Lead the way. So that's hot water. Hot water. Okay, I'll come back to that in a minute. Actually, no doubt I'll have to go back to it because there's a thing to interact with, so I'll probably need to. Wait. Maybe we can reason with it. Um. I'm going to say the only reason it understands is a crowbar. Bing. Ah, oh, safe haven. Ooh, not bad. Well, at any rate. I've had my fill for excitement today. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. <laughs> ah, full health. Right, this is probably the point where I need to turn those valves on. Do you smell something burning? Okay, that's one. 
one of the lights has come on on those. I don't think they were on before. Let's go back and turn this one or other one on and see if that does it, deals with it. Makes it um, all light up. Is that what's changed? Yes, now they're both on. What's that going to do? There's water dripping from this pipe. I don't remember that from earlier, but... It said hot water. Maybe it's going to melt all of that coolant we found earlier, around here. No, this is all still... Oh, I don't need a medicator. I've charged that. Um... OK, let's go back down and have a look at the... Um at where the lights came on, see if there's any clues down here. Okay, that's those two. This feels like somewhere oops, feels like somewhere I've not been yet. Um, or did I come in this way? I have actually completely forgotten. No, I didn't. I haven't seen that barnacle or that head crab. that explodes when I shoot it. No. Lovely. I suppose we haven't had... Oop, cracky. Um, I suppose we haven't had Gordon Roman yet to order hundreds of the exploding barrels. Let's save ammunition actually for things that are a bit more difficult like head crabs yeah so the barrels don't all explode because Gordon Froman hasn't been hired yet and hasn't accidentally froman an enormous barrel order I didn't manage to dodge through the doorway. Um, I feel slightly bad about that, because I've played Half-Life 2, and I remember what those guys actually are. <laughs> um, oh well. door does open. Am I about to get a new friend? That's quite a long drop. Let's not go in there until I have to. Jordan, is that you? Is it safe? Ah! <laughs> I'm going to say no. No, it's not safe. Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. Leave him in there. Yeah, pretty sure I'm going to have to go down this hole. Hmm. What game will be complete without a sewer section? Are they both? Yes, they are. There's 
the one? Okay. Oh, thing over the barrel. Yeah, I was trying quite hard not to back into that uh, barnacle. So that's a dead end. That is that a dead end? That could be a door. Let's find out. No, not a door. Do you want this? Din dins. Okay. So, no, it's not where I came down, but there isn't a ladder going back up, so I don't think I can get out that way. Right, a manual override in a flooded tunnel. I assume if I use that, it's going to fill up with water and then I have to get to that exit before I drown. Let's find out. Ah! No, no. Ah! I don't know what direction I'm being... Right, that was awkward. I got, so I got picked up by the barnacles and then couldn't tell what direction I was being attacked from and which one had got me, because they're too close together and, well, I don't know, just generally playing badly, I guess. Maybe I'll blow them up this time. Ow. And then there were two round here. Well, there were two round there before. Not sure where the other one is yet, but... Uh, to be fair, I could shoot all these barnacles, but it's... Doesn't seem worth the worth the ammunition. Especially if that's clearly the way you're supposed to deal with them. Maybe I'll take these ones out, because these are the ones that were the real problem. There we go. And yeah, these two as well. Then is this no this is this is this is where I, Is that where I came in? Yes, yes it is. So that is where I'm to go out again. Yeah, that was so that's a different way. Okay, so so Turn the thing, those lift up, that rises, water comes in pushing me backwards, go around here, Ooh. quickly swim up here before I drown horribly. There we go, good, and health back up to full as well, excellent. That wasn't too bad. I'm not sure why that's still swaying quite like that, but never mind. I think that's just water. I'm getting really paranoid. I'm just expecting there to be a head crab around every corner. 
but I suppose the whole point is that there isn't a head crab around every corner, they're just occasional head crabs, because that's far more terrifying. <laughs> Like that. To be fair, at least this game warns you when it's going to teleport enemies in behind you by making a zappy zappy noise. Can I go in here? I can. The fact that I can go in here probably means that this is the, the way. That said, I was expecting that um, big thing down there to be an elevator of, that I vaguely remember from the original. Or maybe I turn it on from up here. That would make some sense. Is that the Chuckle Brothers on that mug? Yes, I think it might be. So, big red button. Don't need that. Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's empty. Okay, so I've turned on the power to this freight elevator. Now, I think I've seen this before, and this goes down at an angle. And the reason it's so open on the top is so that you can get a steady stream of enemies falling onto you from above. <laughs> Let's see if I'm um, remembering correctly or whether I'm just paranoid. Nope, there we go. I don't know if I've got the ammunition to... Okay, they just fly off the end so I can dodge them. That makes it a bit less difficult. No, nope, that one's stopped. Ah. <laughs> if you can get them to jump at you, then they'll disappear off into the distance, like that. Oh god, there's loads of them. <laughs> I hate head crabs. <laughs> uh, loads and loads of them. So I think I just need to dodge and try and play baseball with them as they go past. Ow! Are they all going to be waiting at the bottom now? Yes, yes they are. Ow! My reactions don't seem to be quite quick enough. Come on then. Savia. Missed it. Where'd it go? Out. That wasn't 100% successful. There we go, that's the way to do it. He says as if he hasn't already lost nearly all his health. Maybe I'll do it the other way. Oh good, there's a medi system, medical system over here. That doesn't seem to be a trap. Okay, an extra 50%, that's not, not to be sneezed at. Hm. I'm sure the original Half-Life didn't have pretty reflections like this in the water either. God. Those dead head crabs are making me jumpy. I keep not being sure whether they're all dead. ammunition, that's good. Ooh, that's another one of those sonic dog things. <laughs> it seems to have been a bit hoist by its own petard though. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm um, not going that way then. the alternative. Can't get in there. Oh, it's a platforming section. <laughs> Back from the days when before people had realised how bad an idea first person platforming really is. That said, this isn't too bad.
No, nope, that's a crowbar proof one. Interesting, I was going to try and jump down onto the um, platform down below, but given that I've loaded a new section, that's clearly not the way I'm supposed to go. Will this take my weight? Yes. But obviously there's nowhere to go because that's the... That was... Maybe I wouldn't have been able to make that jump then. I mean, presumably not, otherwise there wouldn't have been the other way around. Oh! Oh no, I can get in here. I feel like there's a bit, bit too much choice here. I want to, oh, okay, that's, that's why there's a choice. Because I can't go this way. It's always satisfying. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Um, yeah, as I was saying, it's always satisfying watching enemies fighting with each other, but then when they finish fighting and... Ow. Yeah, let's stop doing that now. It's obviously a bad idea. Um, and the strongest ones spot you and attack. It's not so good. Start shooting. Oh, bloody barrels! There we go. <laughs> Sufficiently exploded that some of it came over here. Nice. I suppose to an extent, Half Life is a puzzle game as well. It's not just about shooting your way through things. Sometimes there are puzzles, and yeah, okay, a puzzle that is shoot the barrel to blow up the enemy is not the most subtle of puzzles, but it's still, it's, um, it shows something rather than just shooting things to kill them. Now, presumably I'm supposed to get across there. I don't really want to fall in if I can avoid it. This isn't Half-Life 2, so I don't think I'm supposed to put floating things under the bridge to lift it up. Smattering of barnacles around. I don't know, I don't see any way out or across. Let's jump in the water and see what we find. This guy can swim seriously quickly. Oh, ah, there we go. Okay, sometimes the puzzle isn't find the way across to make a bridge without getting get across without falling in the water. Sometimes it's just jump in the water and swim across. Lots of medi uh, medi kits around, which is nice. I don't seem to need them all at the moment, but it's nice to know they're there, and which implies I'm still at an early enough stage of the game. but it's being nice to me. I'm playing on medium difficulty because, well, it's the one in the middle and I have played these sort of games before. So it seemed a sensible way to start. We'll see if that becomes an issue later.
I feel like I'm getting paranoid. Just... That was not an interactive one. The way I'm moving around, sort of covering... No, no, that's not where I was before. I was going to say, I assume it is, it's just a nice sort of callback, but no, it isn't. I'm on I'm just a different um, towering walkway. And dodgy ladder physics. Oh, it's another jumping puzzle. I s Is this door going to be locked as well? Yes. Yeah. I can't get in there because that's reinforced glass which I can't open, not even with my crowbar. So I'm just expecting to jump from box to box to get to... I don't know really. Oop. Right, so I came up over there. It's not there. There's a door over there, maybe it's that one. There's a door up there. There's no way I can get to that unless I can find some way to start these moving again. There seems to be... Oh! Ow. Um, that wasn't what I meant to do. I was going to say there seems to be some sort of physics-defying system here, but actually, no, those are doors that would open for the boxes to go through. Um... Right, now what can I do from here? Maybe that's why there's water down there to give me a soft landing if I mess things up and can't get back out again. So... I think I'm going to have to try that because there's nowhere else to go from here. Geronimo! <laughs> Okay, that counts as a fail then. Ooh. Do I jump to the rail or do I jump to there? To the box? I think probably the box, and then I'll go through that yeah, I'll go through that opening there underneath the three. Ugh, made it. Phew, I hate jumping puzzles. If I wanted to play a platform game, I'd be playing Dead Cells, or similar. Maybe even Mirror's Edge if I really wanted to first-person view. Now, anyway. Okay, this seems to be a fairly quiet now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this a good place to stop. I don't know what editing I'm going to do on these videos yet. I'll have a look at it and, um, and see how it feels. Um, I don't want to go to the full level I do with the Factorio ones, because that will take... take it takes too long to do, and to be honest, speeding up a first-person game is just going to be horrifically disorientating. Oh, I'm on the other side. That's where it was spitting at me before. <laughs> right. So I've just made it across that canal. So I'll have a play around with the video, see what seems like a good idea for, the, um, for this one, and then we'll uh, carry on with the next episode. So, as ever, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and if you're not already watching the Factorio series, I hope that interests you too. Till next time, thanks for watching.